Hey guys, it's Aman and Christina from Our Rich Journey. And in this video, we are sharing the highlights of our trip to Sevilla, Spain. So if you're new to our channel, we retired before 40 and we moved to Portugal. So this week we took a spontaneous trip to Sevilla and we wanted to take you along with us for the ride. Let me see you take a sip of that. <laughs> so so Sevilla is located fairly close to the southern Portugal border, but we live up north in the silver coast of Portugal. So from where we live to Sevilla, it's less than a five hour drive. And we decided to stay in an Airbnb in the center of Sevilla because we wanted the space to relax, but we also wanted easy access to everything in the city. Why would you like if she did to me on purpose? <laughs> So for those of you that don't know, we actually used to live in Spain. We lived there for about three years, and when we visited Spain this time around, we forgot about some of the incredible foods there. So we definitely took advantage of that and ate out a lot here. <laughs> I see them both. Are... They almost look fake, right? Hey, let's go over to Triana. Check out the market. You want to do that? Come here, shorty. <laughs> <laughs> If you ever visit Sevilla, make sure you save time to visit Triana. There you can visit the Triana market, which is full of these vendors selling fresh fruits, vegetables, meats, drinks, and there's restaurants there too. So one of the things that I love to get whenever we come to Spain is the fresh honey, right? If I can get honey, it's like local honey that still has some of the honeycomb in it, I just love that type of thing. So I'm gonna to try to find some over here. So one thing about Spain that we haven't actually seen here in Portugal are the tapas. We love the tapas in Spain. It's basically like ordering a mini version off of the regular menu. So they have salad tapas, fish tapas, octopus tapas. There are so many different options. One new thing that we did in Sevilla that we hadn't done before is we took a boat cruise along the river. We found it as an Airbnb experience, so we decided to try it out, and it was really cool. It was just really another perspective of the city, and it was really beautiful. Oh, he's fast. He's fast. <laughs> Try it, huh? Let's see. More sweet, sweet. Okay. Mm. Yeah, this one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I love these Spanish beers. They're so good. One of the things that Aman and I decided to do was to go to the ancient thermal baths here in Sevilla. We actually came here before when we lived in Spain, so it was something we really wanted to do again. But you have to be 18 years or older to go into the baths, so the girls didn't get to come on this. But we were sort of running them throughout the city the entire day, so by the time we went to the baths, they were actually happy to stay home and rest and then they were ready to explore the city the next morning. <laughs> Malia knows it. Malia knows that. that. That was not a real answer. Can you be more specific? Like what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, what's that? Because <laughs> you're already like a decline or accepted, so you can't. Yeah. Yeah. So these were some of the tapas we tried. They were all so delicious. Almost everything on the menu at this place had the full menu and then it also had the tapa version. Uh, Molia doesn't think I'm a good singer. Let me see. What, what song do you want me to sing? Uh, just a song that you like, just sing it. Like Any real song? singing, not, uh, yeah, real singing. <laughs> no, no, come on, for real. For real, for real. 
One of the things about being in Sevilla this time around is that the girls are old enough to remember it when they get older. So when we lived in Spain, the girls were younger than five years old. And we've been back to Spain many times since then, but every time it was either to Barcelona or to Madrid. So we love that we're able to make these kinds of memories with the girls. All right, so I woke up this morning. I left the house a little early. While the girls are all uh, sleeping, I came out here to uh, order breakfast for myself. And you guys would be so proud of me because I ordered my entire breakfast in Spanish. And I gotta tell you, that's one of the things about living uh, in Portugal is that the language is hard. But my Spanish, I feel like a genius when I speak it here. I'm, it's just so good compared to my Portuguese. So that's the end of our trip to Sevilla. We had such a great time, but school starts again on Monday and Sanoa really can't miss her basketball game. So we are back at home here in Portugal. But what's great about living in Portugal is that it's so easy and affordable to travel throughout Europe from here. We actually plan on coming back a lot more to Spain and also traveling to other cities throughout Spain, but we also wanna travel more throughout Europe. So we actually can't wait to travel more. And if you like this video, let us know because we'll make more of them as we travel. And of course, if you really, really like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and join the journey. How is it? Cool, cool.